would like to answer that question, but combine it with an answer to one of your questions, which was a slightly different aspect of that, which pointed out, you pointed to rightfully out, that there are phases in a manuscript development where some commenting would be required and wanted that is not right for public comment. I totally agree with that, and every platform that gets out there and tries to, to be helpful in that respect should respect that. So there must be a, the signs open, for example, there will be a sphere where you define your, your, you can create a private group and you can do all kind of discussions in that private group, whatever. And what we see, and that gets now into the direction of preprint or not, what we see as the big uh, divide here is when you decide this information, this paper is now right to be published. We don't mingle in there. We allow you to publish that. We provide you a DOI. You, you get it, if you call it a preprint, instantly on your, on your, uh, in your sphere. It's out there. People can see it. And people can start to comment on it. Why it is going through production and all the other things that, that qualify that uh, as, a, as a real publication. Um, then there is a second and that uh, directs more to, to your, your aspect that you, uh, that you asked at the end. There's a, um, there's a way that we promote with the authors themselves and as a publisher to organize peer review, to add people to that process, to, to win them to do peer review based on articles. So we are not leaving it just to itself, but we are also leaving it to itself. Because I think this is a cultural aspect that people start to, uh, we see now in the meantime, people starting to promote their articles on Twitter, on wherever. And this is just, the start of the embrace of the new communication methodologies. People will, will continue to do that because they can benefit from that. And what we think is that process can be evolved to become part of the publishing process. You can provide a platform for that. And then it's up to the people who, you know, how much they embrace it, but we as a publisher will definitely support and provoke it. Because I think at the end of the day, this is part of the publishing process. And then there is the kind of uh, the other extreme to that is that you could say if, if, if somebody publishes something and half a year later, whatever you, you did, there is no public review to that article. There is nobody, let's, let's give away the word uh, public, there is nobody who is willing to review that article. Well, you know what, then maybe it is just not interesting enough for that given phase of, or for that given here in the field. I, it's not for us as a publisher to judge that. It's for you as a user to judge that. The article is in open access. If you can find it, um, and I, I, I related to that in my, in my talk, when you look at a, a very specific field, you would want every 13 articles to be found that are about that field, and you don't care whether they are here or not. But guess what? If you have a more, more general request and you get back 700 answers, and you get uh, the first 40 being 12 times peer review positively, and you even know more about the peer review. You know that it was uh, uh, the, the people who peer reviewed it statistically, they loved especially the, the, the methods, they loved certain aspects of it. It gives you even value more about that value of it was published. Then guess what? You won't probably look at the other 300. You will look at those. Uh, at, so there is some sort of a ways to deal with what you require and give you the maximum information from that process. And then, just as a, as a final remark to that, to that we, we, I don't think the thesis really goes in the, in the wrong direction, especially as of today I, I have read that PubMed Central has started a new service that's called PubMed, uh, PubMed Commons, and that is public commenting and, and reviewing. And what they do is, uh, and very little, I just learned it two hours before I came here. Um, what, they, what they do is they, uh, they require a certain um, acumen of your position, uh, however they measure that, that, that would allow you uh, to comment on, on that and that would be published. And I think this is then uh, where the publisher can come in and try to make sure that, that you get valuable reviews as opposed to just any review. Um, but also, at the same point in time, the fact that PubMed is doing this, I think, really brings it into mainstream. That is, 
more than a coming debate. This is now is becoming part of finding out how it works and improving it. And I think we are on the same boat to improve that process because uh, it's adding something. 